This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Samsung Smart TV. Well, hello there, folks. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to another episode of What's the Apps. Today, we're going to take a quickie inside look on some of the apps that didn't make the cut for previous episodes. Hit me. To do this thing, I download and test a bunch of apps throughout the week, and full disclosure, my main device is an iPhone 4S accompanied by an iPad 2, which means that most, if not all, of my time spent casually downloading and testing are spent in the iOS environment. For WTA, I want to find apps that people either haven't really heard of and should seriously check out, or something that's seriously awesome and they should check out regardless of its popularity. The apps I try to look for, the ones that tend to stay on your phone or tablets forever, stuff that really sticks, things that become part of your lifestyle. Sometimes my reviews are kind of sporadic, but generally I tend to stick to that basic principle. There are some apps and services that are big enough that I don't need to go over like Twitter, Facebook, Netflix, or Skype. Don't get me wrong, they are awesome apps, but I want to find the underdog apps. It's just more fun that way. Yelp is definitely a great one, especially for finding, filtering, and locating restaurants. I even got free ice cream one time for pressing the check-in button for fun, but I feel like Yelp falls under the too big to review umbrella. Same with Evernote, which is my go-to cloud-based note syncing app. Another the review requirement would be that the app should have relatively mass appeal. For example, like Yelp, the BlogTO app is absolutely fantastic. Likewise for the Green Pea app. But these apps are specific to a region, that being Canada, which means that folks outside of Canada would have no need for them. There were also some apps that would have been too difficult to film or produce properly. Two are Action Shot and Slow Pro, both video recording apps. I haven't really gotten a chance to test them out too much, but to produce an episode, I need to get lots of interesting shots of the app in action. Which is tricky because A, I'm alone most of the time, so filming a tree with action shot wouldn't be too interesting, no matter how hardcore the tree may be. And B, holding a DSLR camera to film a phone that's filming something with lots of movement is just crazy hard. Another good example would be RunKeeper. I've used this app extensively when I was really into running. But like action shot, it would be tricky to film as I need to be jogging or running to show the app in action. Another running app I've tried was Zombies Run, which is a running app with a superbly amazing concept. It's basically a mobile art. RPG game where you play it by running in real life. The story is illustrated with voiceovers and sound effects, and there are audio cues that trigger when you say pick up items or when it's time to run because zombies are chasing you. I'm gonna tell you all about that after a quick shout out to our friends at Samsung for their smart TVs. Introducing Samsung's all new smart TV with smart interaction technology plus innovative ways to explore and locate smart content. The built in remote on the smart touch remote control, gesture and voice control, face recognition, and the SmartView mobile app all provide unique ways to interact with your TV. Cutting edge TV apps and new signature services, plus web browsing enhance the TV experience. Right now you can experience advanced overall performance from improved motion clarity to faster web access. In the future though, you can upgrade your TV experience and functionality with the Smart Evolution Kit. Learn more about all of the features found in the Samsung Smart TV at facebook.com slash Samsung TV USA. I've tried Zombies Run for a few days and I, I couldn't handle it. It was way too intense for me. Personally, I get startled super easily and the voices pop out of nowhere. It's already bad enough that you're panting from your run, but this random guy all of a sudden screams at you. It's just, it's just too much. So I never finished it. Another app or game I never finished was Sword and Sorcery, recommended by our own Joey Davidson. Stunning environment, awesome music, but due to my lack of skill, I got stuck pretty early in the game and in short, I, I gave up. An app that I picked up recently that I've been absolutely loving would be DJ. I have zero DJ experience and knowledge, but it's a blast learning how to mix songs together. This is one of the situations where I feel like the review wouldn't be as strong as I don't have enough experience to know what aspects of the app to look for. Plus, I think I suck at DJing. This one's not a typical episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Latest!